Here we have a matchup. Jacob Dean found himself on the losing end of things against Trevor Outlaw. Back at the show must safely go on last October. And Storm Grayson has found himself in tag situations with the Blackheart Battalion in singles competition here tonight. Jason Hades of the Blackheart Battalion is not with us tonight. And Brubaker is in the ladder match later on this evening to crown the first Zello Pro champion. So I'm actually surprised to see Brubaker out here. You'd think he'd be back there meditating and focusing on the ladder match. He's got five other competitors in that matter la ladder match later on. And now, yeah, Storm Grayson has vertically gifted and has, as, uh, as often as he is in the gym, Jacob Dean's not going to back down to anybody. There's a reason he calls himself the Maniac. Zach, he's earned that moniker. And here we go with collar elbow tie up. Not sure who to give the strength nod to. Maybe to Grayson, but he's got the leverage advantage, not by much. Grayson, Storm Grayson, very used to having the, the height advantage in it almost about just about any contest he's in. And both these guys are just, both of these competitors, just magnificent athletes. I'm going to venture to guess neither one of these gentlemen have a difficulty getting a date on Saturday night. But a winner, the victory here, Storm Grayson, I got to think, especially once that victor, he needs to impress his boss right there on the outside. With Shotzi Blackheart having, having parted ways with Zella Pro Wrestling, it's Nick Brubaker who leads up the Blackheart Battalion now, and Storm Grayson with the shoulder tackle. Trying to establish his dominance here in this contest against Jacob Dean and one of the bright, brightest, I won't say the bright spots, the brightest spots of the Freelance Wrestling Academy. Prize student of Isaiah Velasquez. Hard into the corner goes Grayson and just gets shoved over. And about a minute ago, I saw Storm Grayson knocking down Jacob Dean with the shoulder tackle. But it was this time Jacob Dean knocking down Storm Grayson. A receipt, if you will. Drives that, just the, the laces of his boot right across the chest of Storm Grayson. And once again, this time Grayson goes down to a knee. Those powerful, powerful kicks of the Maniac, and he got him down. I think he could have knocked him down on that first one, but Jacob Dean was holding on to Grayson's right arm on the first two kicks. Wouldn't let him go down, wouldn't afford him that mercy. Dean looking for a suplex. What a suplex master he is, but didn't go for the suplex. We got the gourd buster right across the top rope. That's a steel cable. Drives that knee and does Jacob Dean. And Grayson trying to, yeah, he's he's got to re, he's recouping. Recouping with the boss, getting some advice on the outside. Why is the roll to the outside? Put a halt on Jacob Dean's momentum that he's been getting going. Three, Jacob Dean with the vicious knife edge chop. And Storm Grayson wise to get away. And Jacob Dean, the focus has been has been taken over to, to Brubaker. And that's just youth and inexperience right there on Jacob Dean. This kid. Kiss the knife edge chop, though. This kid's got a bright future ahead of him, no doubt. But, yeah, Brubaker knows it. Russian leg sweep in right into the guardrail. Heads up, front row. A maniac's coming your way. Yeah, Jacob Dean and, uh, seems to be easily distracted by Brubaker in this match. And Brubaker, this, we're talking about like a 12, 13-year veteran. He knows it, too. He knows, Brubaker knows that he's going to be able to get inside Dean's head. At this stage, of, uh, at this stage in their respective careers, Brubaker's going to take advantage of that. And Grayson has no doubt been coached. This is no doubt a game plan. A game plan between the Blackhawk Battalion has to be, Grayson, I'm going to get in, the, get in your opponent's head. You just take advantage. Drives the elbow. 360 goes deep. This could be it right here. Gets that two count only. 
cinching in the chin lock, getting a couple cross faces there. And a good leverage, good positioning here from Storm Grayson. Keeping that bicep right under the chin and not around the trachea. And that one's got, no, no, he's good, he's good. Referee Chico Suave, no doubt, keeping a close look, keeping a close eye on that headlock. To their feet, Jacob Dean trying to alleviate the uh, that leverage advantage. Falcon Arrow, maybe he is this. Now he hits, sticks the suplex, rolls through, right into the pin. Beautifully done, two counter. Storm Grayson, is he breathing heavy or is he uh, trying to get the ladies in the audience to breathe heavy with that? What was that? But now right into the front chancery. This is smart by Storm Grayson. Keep his weight down on his opponent. Make Jacob Dean, make the Maniac expend more and more energy just to get to his feet. Back suplex coming up. Got it. Grayson maybe for the pin? No, not so much. Big smile, though. Grayson seems to have Dean right where he wants him. He's not going to get him here. Come on, Grayson. Although, on the flip side, if I'm playing devil's advocate, Always go for that pin. Make your, make your opponent kick out. Always see where your opponent's at. Drives that elbow. Boy, did he have a head full of steam. Storm Grayson with the snap air in perfect positioning. Gets that kick right in between the shoulder blades. Dean down. Yeah, he's hurt. You can see the way he's got his elbows on the mat. Here, the middle of his back's hurt. Look at this pin. Two count only. And that's as psychological as it is physical on that pin. Crowd letting Storm Grayson know what they think of him. And Jacob Dean able to take advantage. Snap Mare into the kick and going for the pin to count on. Oh, but Grayson up to his feet immediately. Yeah, Grayson wasn't about to just lay on the mat. For Jacob Dean, bounces out of the corner. What a lariat that was. Storm Grayson with all of it. Grayson not going for the pin right away. The way he's crawling to that mat, he's garnering attention, but yeah, that was a one and a half, two count. Grayson with a smirk on his face though. Feeling good about where he's got Jacob Dean here in this contest. Grabbing that handful of hair. Brubaker looks on, he's gotta be thinking a lot of pride here. He's seeing his man just dismantle his opponent. Driving that knee right under the neck and pulling back on that chin, that reverse chin lock. Always a smart move, especially when you have a height advantage as Storm Grayson tends to have. Dean able to battle his way out, drives that elbow through. Stick and move, stick and move. And got that headbutt. He got all of it, but how much did he take out of himself? Did Jacob Dean with that headbutt. Here we go, driving those knees in, getting some of that Muay Thai background that he's learned from other, other students at the Freelance Wrestling Academy. And here comes a double butterfly, double underhook on the butterfly suplex. Folds through, didn't hold the arms in the double underhook, but two count only. You gotta wonder if Team would have was able to hold on to that double underhook. Would he have been able to get the three count? Dean Jacobs taking some time. Well, now he's saying he's, he's going for it. Is he looking for that dragon sleeper, that diamond suplex? Could be going for something completely different entirely. Look at this. Using Storm Grayson's own arm to fisherman's hook him. But, but it's a Storm Grayson who's able to block using that left leg in between Jacob Dean's legs to block it. Here we go, up with a Uranagi type slam, and he got it. Right on the arm, too. And Storm Grayson has had injuries, an injury before in the past that kept him out of action for over a year. And a Uranagi like that, slamming his arm against the ground, that could, uh, against the mat, I mean, could reactivate that injury. Jacob Dean with a two count. But Jacob Dean's got to like his chances. There's no doubt he is more than aware. He has not forgotten about the surgically repaired, it's a collarbone. Ducks the clothesline, does Storm Grayson, didn't even know it was coming. Gets the blue thunderbomb. Two count only. 
got all of it too. Had a dizzying effect with the spin around by Storm Grayson. And the crowd, message being sent, hey, that was a cool move, but you still don't like it. Blackheart Battalion not endearing themselves to many of the audience, if any of the audiences that they perform in front of. Gets that back elbow smash, beautifully done by Jacob Dean. He gets the back of the head with one. This could be it right here. Go for the pin, Jacob. Or he might be thinking this is a good position for that Dragon Sleeper. I think Grayson's feeling it coming. Getting some cross faces in. Hitting really high up on those shoulders, making sure that those cross faces are perfectly legal. He's not hitting a close fist. There he's got a sleeper. Not the Dragon Sleeper. He's got a sleeper on. Storm has made his way to his feet, but the way he's being pulled back, oh, here we go. Classic, he's got his shoulders down. He's got his shoulders down. Two count only. Ducks the clothesline, that was so close. Very lucky, roaring elbow by Storm Grayson. But a charging Yakuza kick by Jacob Dean, fighting right back, this match back and forth. Impossible to pick a winner. These two have just been hitting Lariats left and right. Storm Grayson. Used to go by the name the Green Kid. Asked me to take that away. Hey, I'm not new anymore. And he just showed me why. Rolling out from under that rope, not allowing himself to be pinned. And Jacob Dean going to be on the hunt. But Brubaker is there. The leader of the Blackheart Battalion is there. Did he slip? Gracing something. Did he give him some advice? Did he tell Jacob Dean, hey, or did he tell him? Jacob Dean's right here. Back body drop. Lands hard on the rampway. That could be a huge difference maker in this contest. And I am waiting to see if these performers are going to make their way to their feet. I'm looking for the whereabouts. Okay, I see Dean is up and he is picking up Grayson to get him back in the ring. He's looking for the pin after that. Big back body drop right there on the solid steel rock walkway. Dean, yeah, well, the referee checking on Grayson and Brubaker. It was only a matter of time. I mean, does this shock anybody that Brubaker will get himself interjected? Drives that pump knee in. He just, Dean sent, like he could have broken his back over that second rope. This could be it right here. And he got a Blackheart Battalion with the victory. Storm Grayson defeating Jacob Dean. Here's your Well, the maniac Jake, Jacob Dean, he's got to be if he's able to think at all right now, the way he got just pummeled with that knee strike, his wins and losses are starting to look questionable here in Zello Pro.